and welcome back to Jordan Uncorked. I'm Maggie Cruz. And I'm John Duckett. We are here in Healdsburg, California on the rooftop of the new Single Thread Farm Restaurant and Inn, right next door to Villette, Bravas, and all the great restaurants here in Healdsburg. Today we are uncorking our 2007 Jordan. Since it's 2017, we thought it'd be fun to have a 10-year-old wine, and we thought we'd share it with you. We chose not to decant this wine because it's a 10 year old wine. Typically a younger wine you want to decant just to release aromas and, and get that fresh fruit and kind of let, let the wine come alive. Um, the 10 year mark, it's had plenty of time in the bottle. It's tasting really fresh right out of the glass. Um, but then when you kind of get your older wines, the 15 to 20 year, you're getting some sediment forming. So you want to decant and extract it off of the sediment into, so you don't get any of that into your glass. Wow, oh, there's still a lot of big fruit to this wine. A lot of blackberry and that cassis character definitely comes through, mm -hmm. which is rare for Cabernet. That's a really good year is what that shows when you get that cassis. And this definitely has it. And I, it did have it at release from what I remember. With 10 years, it still has it. It's still very fresh. Oh, definitely. I remember we were really excited about this wine to come out. Uh, it was kind of the first big vintage where it really showed our paradigm shift in fruit sourcing from off of the estate and going to some long respected growers in Alexander Valley. Right. Um, so we really noticed that upon release with the bouquet and a lot of bright fresh fruit. Uh, but it's still there. It's still really bright. It tastes, it doesn't taste like a 10 year old wine. No, not at all. And I remember my first year at Jordan, this was being bottled and uh, there was a lot of excitement around this this wine uh, just because one of the growing season which was one of the best and uh, and our fruit sourcing as you said changes um, with this vintage we get a lot more of that grower aspect in here which brings a lot of that darker fruit wow those tannins are really smooth it's really nicely balanced yeah right off the bat there's a nice yeah. acidity that's in balance mm -hmm. with the tannins really nice fruit on the palate all the way through the finish um, no real gaps, really well integrated right now. It's tasting really, really nice. Definitely. I know Rob always talks about that 10 years, kind of that perfect spot to be drinking our Cabernets, and, and I completely agree on this Yeah, one. I would agree with him, definitely. But there's still so much fruit that you could go another five, depending upon your palate, even maybe another 10 years. Yeah, easily, you definitely mm -hmm. could. This is, as we've said, is, is tasting very, very fresh. Uh, the, the fruit flavors are so lively that it, it's great now, I would open it, but you can definitely age it for a little longer. For sure. Um, so thanks for joining us for another episode of Jordan Uncorked. If you have any questions about this vintage, other vintages, or something you want us to open and try, please leave comments down below as always. Um, other than that, this is a great bottle to try, and uh, one of us will be taking this home for dinner. For and we'll sure. see who. So, <laughs> cheers. Cheers.